He rocks in the tree top all day long, hopping and flopping and singing his song. All the little birds on Jay Bird's tree love to hear the robin going tweet, tweet, tweet. Rockin' Robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. Rockin' Robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. Go Rockin' Robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little bird in the tall oak tree. The wise old owl and the big black crow flapping their wings singing, go bird, go. Rockin' Robin, rockin' tweet, tweet. Go Rockin' Robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. Go Rockin' Robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. He rocks in the treetop all day long, hopping and bopping and singing his song. All the little birds on Jay Bird Street love to hear the robin going tweet, tweet, tweet. Rockin' Robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. Go Rockin' Robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. Go Rockin' Robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. The pretty little raven at the bird bed stand taught him how to do the bop and it was grand. They started going steady and bless my soul, he out bopped the buzzin' and the Oreo. Go rockin' robin cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Tweet, tweet, truly tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs>
Oh, it was just a little birdie, probably. Oh, yeah. well, robins are kind of small. Oh, yes, they yeah. are. In fact, uh, there's, there's Chirpy. Oh, so this one here, yeah. right there. Oh, that's what they robins look like. Rocky Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Robin. <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> beautiful birds. They are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, Mary takes someone special like you who cares for animals and care for the lovely birds. I mean, she, she does a really nice job rescuing the birds. And yeah. thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. My birds, my bird feeders hang from the pergola over a deck on the second floor. If you hang bird feeders at ground level, they may not be bear proof and will have to be removed until fall, as Mary alluded to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A water source is necessary for birds. One way to provide water is to hollow out three inches deep a tree trunk. It doesn't have to be smooth. You can find all kinds of bird baths where bird supplies are sold. Also for winter watering, heated bird baths are available. Wow. They are plugged into a regular electrical outlet. You must keep the bird baths clean to have healthy birds. Now to other bird facts. The eggs that a female bird lays have a tiny embryo inside which is everything the baby needs except warmth. Mom and dad birds sit on the eggs and keep them warm. To hatch, the chick has to peck at the shell and make a crack around the larger end. Some parent birds may hear the chick cheeps and help to remove parts of the shell. And I just, my friend Judy came over the other day and told me about little house finches that they, were, they made a nest on a decoration on her door and she peeked in and saw four little blue eggs. Next time she peeked in, there were four little mouse waiting to eat. Oh, thank you. And then, one day, a little, no. a little bird was sitting on the nest, on the rim of it. Mm -hmm. thinking about flying, but he wasn't ready. Oh, so his mother no. poked him, and he flew off. And oh, he did. He did. Oh, oh, yay! And the other three followed. Chicks depend on their parents for food and safety until they can fend for themselves, like this little guy as I described. Mm -hmm. Birds eat all kinds of things. We'll all see robins on our lawns listening for worms to feed their young. Birds also eat seeds, fruits, and plants, as well as insects. Birds are the only animals that have feathers. Feathers are a bird's main tool for flight. Mm. If you want to learn more about local birds and how to attract them, there are two excellent books that will be val valuable to you and your birding. First, National Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Birds, Eastern Region. And second, Mary, Mary's holding up, National Wildlife Federation, Attracting Birds, Butterflies, and Other Backyard Wildlife. The right conditions will invite a host of birds to your yard for you to enjoy. Now look around for our beautiful feathered friends and listen to their singing. So Mary, out of all the birds that you take care of, or just birds that you know or love, what is your favorite bird? Oh, my favorite bird, since childhood probably, is a robin. A robin? Robin and red breast. Oh. Yeah. And I, yeah. He's right in the center, right over here. <laughs> and this is Mary's favorite. The cardinal. The cardinal. I know. The cardinal. And we have over here cardinal peace, world clean peace. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And to have a disease free world. So all the uh, the people and all the animals and birds live happily That's and right. healthy. That's the thing that I love about cardinals is just that they're just first of all beautiful birds. They're a gentle, sweet bird. But I love the symbolism of them. Um, they say that if anyone is a visitor from heaven, yes, yes, and um, that just in times of trouble that I've had in my life. Or times of sadness, it just mm -hmm. seeing that cardinal is an inspiration. To oh, me. that's nice. Well, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Yeah, and Mary, Mary oh, got to come. Oh, oh, wait, no, I, got, I took your glass off. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Dove is saying, Take care, everyone. If he could yes. talk, he would. Yeah. So he's, he's not cool enough because he's, he's eating. He says, No, what are you saying, Mr. Oh, okay, okay, Mr. Dove. 
Okay, he's saying this, this now brings us to our next segment. Oh yeah, but you forgot. I forgot to tell you that canaries. I love canaries. Oh yeah. And my daughter, when she was twelve, she made this out oh, of paper oh, and glue. A canary. Look at this. Oh, so here we all set. Got the canary, handmade canary, yeah. when she was about twelve. And she's twenty, so now. Yes, this now brings us to our next segment. Hey everyone, so today I am making eggplant parmesan, my favorite vegetarian dish. And I will show you how I prepare the slices, eggplant, uh, uh, eggplant slices. So I uh, ended up getting a medium sized eggplant. And uh, all you have to do is use a couple of eggs and a quarter of a cup of, uh, of milk and mix it all up and use a little salt and pepper and then dip each slice uh, separately in an egg batter and then you have to uh, also have breadcrumbs I'm using the plain breadcrumbs and so now I'm coating I'm coating each slice each slice in breadcrumbs and then I will transfer it into uh, the frying pan and so all you have to do is add a little bit more vegetable oil right over here and repeat the process with each slice, just like I did before. Egg batter, breadcrumbs, and onto the frying pan, just like that. But what I usually do is soak up the grease using paper towels, just like that. So my eggplant parmesan is all set to be baked at 350 degree oven for about 45 50 minutes or so probably not longer than one hour and so all i did i used the uh spaghetti sauce and as you can see i like paul newman's own organic uh tomato sauce and i layered and i layered the first layer the very bottom with tomato sauce and then I lined up, I aligned all the, I aligned all the eggplant uh, slices very nicely so that the whole bottom was covered with them. Then again, I used tomato sauce and then I used mozzarella, shredded mozzarella cheese and I layered the whole uh, bottom, bottom part with uh, shredded mozzarella cheese. And then I repeated the process a couple more times. And as you can see, I topped it with loads of whole, whole, well, whole milk uh, mozzarella cheese. And I uh, topped it with parsley flakes. I had some frozen parsley flakes and they, they look almost like fresh. So anyways, so I will bring this um on uh, this this uh, pan full of uh, eggplant uh, eggplant slices over to Mary's and Caramel house, and we will bake it over there. So take care, everyone, and enjoy. And I should mention to you also that um, I used I ran out of the fresh the fresh eggplant slices, so I had to use the frozen ones. But uh, uh, the frozen ones are actually less greasy, less oil, uh, greasy than, uh, the, than the ones that I fried in the frying pan. But the fried ones taste so much better. Hi everybody, today we're making vegetable stuffed portobello mushrooms. And the ingredients that this calls for are four plumped portobello mushrooms, olive oil, one to two onions diced. You can use any type of vegetable, but today I'm using frozen. Um, I'm also using my favorite seasoning, which I like, is Yosuja sauce. And I get that at Costco's. It's like a soy sauce, it's very sweet and very nice tasting. I'm also going to having, um, you can use regular garlic, but today I'm using garlic powder, salt and pepper, and I'm also going to have almonds, and for the topping, I'm going to sprinkle shredded nuts on top. It's going to be um, dairy-free, it's a vegan plate, and I hope you all enjoy it, and let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 400. 
Very good. Now, we'll get, we have our mushrooms, but I already did this. I already pre did this already. I cut my mushroom, and then I cut the stem off, and then I like used a spoon, and I cleaned like the inside. I cleaned all the ribbing and all that, um, the inside of the mushrooms. So this way you have this as a shell, so you can stuff it up with your vegetable. So the next thing I'm going to do is, you can see going, my oil is right there. And now I'm going to saute my onions. Now I'm going to get, now I'm going to use my frozen veggies. I have a nice oriental mix here. And I have another type of a stir fry. Yeah, with more peppers in them. So I like red peppers. And then I'm also going to get some almonds. We're doing that. The next thing I'm going to do is put in my Yoshida sauce. And I'm going to increase my heat now again. And while that's doing that, I'm going to now put in my some garlic powder. I like a lot of garlic. And now put some salt and some pepper. And mix it all up. So as you can tell, the vegetables, they're pretty tender, but they're also a little bit of firm. I like a little firmness with my veggies here. So now we're gonna shut off the burners and now we're gonna prepare the mushroom mixture. So over here you have a greased foil line baking sheet. I have a pan, but um, I just put foil on it and I just sprayed it there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take out our shell here and we're going to just take some of this nice mixture here with the peppers. There we go. Very good. And then we're going to get some of the shredded nuts I told you about earlier. And I'm going to continue making the rest of my mushrooms. And we're going to put this in the oven. Like I said, it's a 400 degree oven. And we're going to bake it between 10 to 12 minutes. And um, But it may take longer. I like to have my mushrooms and everything to be a nice golden brown. Um, right now I'd rather just put it in for 10 to 12 minutes and if we need extra time then so be it. We'll see you in a little while when Ella comes up. Take care everyone. I am making a nice flamingo cake. Uh, this is the second time that I'm making it. I made it before for a flamingo night and now I'm making it for our beautiful bird show. So uh, here we go. I already have six eggs all blended up in here. That's six. I'm making double the recipe. So I got the two cake mixes over here. I have two boxes of cherry jello and I already measured the um, over here butter milk real buttermilk and now I am going to add two teaspoons of vanilla right there here we go the cake mix that's two boxes of cake mix I need to use a cup and a half of buttermilk I need to measure another cup and a half of vegetable oil. This is vegetable oils. I am going to add add cherry jello. Cherry jello. This is what it looks like. And so looks like I'm all set to blend everything up. And so once the batter is nice and smooth, I'm going to transfer it into the sheet pan. And that's 13. This sheet pan is 13 by 18 because I'm making a, a twice double the recipe. Okay, so the oven is preheated to 350 
and I'm going to bake it probably for 13 by 9 13 by 9 it says 30 to 35 minutes be a little longer maybe 40 minutes okay so the batter is all set and I need to transfer it into this baking uh, uh, baking pan. And then I will frost it. Today I'm not making my own frosting because I want to, I want to decorate, make a nice looking flamingo. So, so since we're doing the, uh, a beautiful bird show, I want to, I want to make him look kind of like I did the bunnies. So the cake is all done. And it's looking really, really yummy. Just got done carving. Now he's ready to get frosted. And here's the finished product. The flamingo cake is all done. So the, my frosting is all done. It was kind of sweet tasting, so I decided to add a whole... Um, it's, it was not whole, but almost whole container, 16 ounce container of sour cream. So next time when I make this frosting, I'm going to use probably most likely just one box of Jello pudding. Okay, so now I'm ready to frost my canary cake and see you in a little bit. Okay, so this is the finished product. It's supposed to be a canary, but this is my first time making it. And we'll be digging in tomorrow. I gotta put him in the fridge before he melts all over. So take care, everyone. Welcome to the food portion of Mary Ella show of our show. Yes, this is the finished product, everybody. Let you know that this is the second time I made the I made the flamingo, but the, this is the first time that I carved him to look like this. But the flamingo cake. Yes, and as for the meal, we have Ella's eggplant, mm -hmm. and we have my vegetables stuffed. Um, a uh, mushroom here, Ooh, and uh, of course yum. we have our wine and everything. Oh, and, yes. um, and you know what, Mary? Did you know? I think yeah, I probably mentioned it to you, but the eggplant parmesan is my favorite, my all-time favorite vegetarian dish. Wonderful. I love eggplant. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah, so right. bon appetit. Bon appetit, Smashego, everyone. Yeah, take, take care. care. out to me it is not only fine feathers that make fine birds and that was by Isa and another one is birds teach a great lesson all you have to do is listen to their song oh, oh yes so it's so nice to get up in the morning and when it's all quiet so tranquil and you can hear the birds waking up around four o'clock in the morning okay and they're, they're most of them are singing away at seven in the morning and oh. in the evening you're, they're, they're stopped singing they're going to sleep i guess but mm -hmm. seven yeah. four o'clock in the morning that's good well thank you for joining us today don't forget to hit like and subscribe and please comment your comments mean so much to us and have a wonderful day and that's all, folks. Enjoy the birds singing. Enjoy. Enjoy the summer. <laughs>